Geralt, I've yet to thank you for your help with Tinboy. I'd never dreamt I could get away with paying so little. I have something for you. Thanks. How are things with Sucrus? All is in order. I can pay him now. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Other oh, Sucrus. Uh, greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. Oh, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mmm. Sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there. Look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. A box is full of piss. <laughs> Ammonia. Now, I will admit, I think this might have to be the last thing I do for this. Okay. I am losing my voice real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you probably have been taxing it quite a bit lately with all the games you've been playing. Where It's just been dry. That too. Like, I had a really bad sore throat when I woke up today. And I've, like, chugged, I think... I'm so... I mean, admittedly, you had a lot of my water, so that's probably something I should drink. And I want more of it. No. Oh. This is... I'm just gonna drink all this. Goodbye, water. Do you ever... Are you able to drink enough that when you move your stomach rapidly, it sloshes? Uh, I would have to drink a lot. Really? I have done that. It doesn't but. take me that much in order to get my stomach to slosh. Uh, I don't know. All right. We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. I like this lighting right now. Mm -hmm. it must be dawn. Yeah. Super early in the morning. Be drunk. Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. <laughs> Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's a witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well, how long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. A home we will go. Are those the guards? Were they? Or just beggars? 
Hmm. Uh, what? I think it actually wants me to go inside this business. <clears throat> oh. It's you. I know you. Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us. You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. <laughs> How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Yarpen Zygren sends his regards. By your own Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. <laughs> just don't nick everything. <laughs> Where are those crafting supplies? Too late. Oh yeah, what's that? stink of ammonia. Ah, that one. Must be it. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. So you knew that dwarf. I I guess or so. Yarpin. I I don't know. I just figured I'm gonna be nice and pay him off, unlike everybody else, because he's actually nice to me. Whose warehouse <gasps> this is, goat fucker? Hey, eh? Garrett. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus, why are you here? With the sorcerer? Oh, uh, no. Oh, I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you? That plowy non tube will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood. Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me brother-in-law. Attack! Oh. Wait, is that Van Horn himself? Man, flammable. Really? I. So what happened was. Man, burnt. Wait, why did, why did the brother-in-law go to Van Horn? I mean, about. We conquer all with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends. Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Draca that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. Allies don't burn. Oh yeah, no. We have very, very friendly fire. Now they're just up and taking Van Horn? Yeah. I mean, the dude the dude is running effectively a crime ring. Yeah. I well then. So and all's all's fair in Did you just separate those two people? <laughs> all's fair in crime, but not love. No love. <laughs> no love until Geralt gets some. Couples? No. Not couples? Also no. <laughs> couples facilitated by coinage? Uh, no. <laughs> Out of the way. Ah, I see it all around. <laughs> hey, you. Yes, you. You, you meant coinage, right? Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. 
Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore, and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Hopefully it's something with better stats than what you currently have. Uh, that might not happen. Oh. I still wanted to get the play going. Or you uh, just want to wait for a day. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at him. The Reapers come for me. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How no. My sword red. It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. Listen, would you craft something for me? Okay. I'm gonna check a couple of things. What's the sword that he gave you? Uh, I don't know. We'll take a look at it in a second. Uh, Blade from the Bits. It's... Uh, somewhat better than what I've got. But kind of So it does less damage, but that 50% crit bonus is really good. Hmm. So it might be worth using. Ooh. Oh, you do have a crossbow again. Do you actually have it equipped? One second. Uh, let's see. What are the Flaming Rosa armor? Ooh. I wonder what that looks like. I don't know. It's expensive. Oh, these are things to purchase? Yeah. Eh. Let me... Let me see if I can skip some of these things. So... We can make the feline silver sword. That is not enough of an upgrade, though. What about the rest of these? Because, yeah, I think I've got Harpy. Mm -hmm. This is the sword I'm using. So I think we're good on silver swords. Uh, are these silver swords? Okay, steel swords. Okay, so we can actually have him make a new blade from the bits. As good as my own? Ooh, there's the superior feline sword. What about Griffin? But then, of course, there are the enhanced versions and... Well... I mean, I got that. Presumably? It's also Ursine. The Ursine stuff is real, real expensive. Whoa. That one is... I mean, it's meant for Ard. Critical chance. Uh, yeah, but that's... So, Wolven Steel Viper. Sword. Sign intensity. It looks like this is kind of the all-rounder, but it mm -hmm. requires siren vocal cords, which is a little outside of my ability. Okay. Crafting. Was it dark iron that he needed? Or is it dark steel? For which one? The venomous viper one. Oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention to its components. Uh, Dark steel. Okay, we can make that. 
Dark Steel Ingate. Heck yeah. Then all the way back down for a uh Woo-wee. Grossly overpowered steel sword. But I you know what? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> can, uh, we, can we equip all your new stuff? Yeah. I want to see. I just wanted to check a couple other things as I go by. So, let's see. Are these. Oh, we're back on steel swords. I just wanted to double check some of the. And have you put runes into all your blades? Yes. Even your new ones? Yep. So long. Inventory. I don't actually know if that's better. That's better though, because yeah, we're mm -hmm. using a Griffin steel sword. Enhanced, but yes. So now you're gonna have to put new runes in them. Oh right, Grandmaster to get the ability. Using stamina cast a sign in its standard mode, the next sign cast within three seconds will cast standard mode without using stamina. So you can just double cast. We gotta get Grandmaster before I can use that though. But that's with the Griffin sword. Yeah. So eventually I will probably go back to Griffin. Once that scales up. Or once we have the Grandmaster variants. But that's fine. So yeah. That's the blade from the bits that he made for us. That's the other Griffin Steel Sword. Okay. Let's sort by type. Okay. So, chance to stagger. Wait. Armor piercing. I thought you made a silver and a steel sword. Have I you replaced them both? No, 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 no. I, my silver sword is too good. Chance to freeze. Chance to poison. Adrenaline point gain. Bleeding. Armor piercing. I mean, can you look at what the Viper specifically says? I thought that it helps with poison. Yeah, we can do... Can you see what the sword itself actually Im imparts? I mean... Yeah. If you take a look at it, it specifically has... Because chance to cause bleeding, bleeding and poison, you would think that you would... Oh. Yeah. Let's see. So I just chance added more. To poison... Critical hit. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to double check is... Armor. Armor, yes. Okay, so this crossbow is just worse than the one I had? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I thought you had a pretty good crossbow, didn't Wait, you? Wait, where'd the... Yeah, where did that really cool armor go? The rose armor. Did you, the... did you actually buy it? I most famous Bordena. I, I but there's also thought I did. The Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. What do you have on offer? Oh. What? Did I sell it to him? I don't think I did. Okay, I'm confused. Oh, it's fine. Uh, let's see. I don't think we bought it. Yeah, I might, uh... So you're looking at more runestones. And... Yeah, I just well, these are recipes. Oh, hey, what's that quest? Oh, it's a map for Witcher gear. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I had sold it. Ah, oh, damn wait, it. Wait, wait. So is it gone forever? Uh, it should be in his inventory. Can we check? Was it better than your current armor? 
No. Uh, I don't think it was. I don't... Maybe, like, the gloves might have been better? Oops. Dang it, I don't re... I, I don't see it. Ah, oh, I hate it when that happens. Why don't... You're always so hasty with things. I just... Eh. We'll be okay. I'll find it again. I just wanted to find so some long. really nice armor for him. You mean just to look rad? Yeah. yeah. We I we've picked up some recipes, so I could potentially go make some cool armor. Cause I actually haven't done that in a while. Uh let's go back to Go back to Crow's Perch. Four. Uh making armor, because I know there's an armor smith here, and I also know the guy that sells cards is here. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. So I want to quick give that an ogle. Wonder how the Baron is doing, and I mean his story is over, so there's I don't think there's anything else we can talk to him about. Mm -hmm. I mean, all that we saw was that he had led his wife back home, but she was probably mentally broken. Yeah, and so he was going to. Wait, what's that book? I don't know. Oh, religion and life. We've already read it. Ah. Uh. Farewell. So fashion over function. I mean, I'm more or less just like blasting my way through this game with modded ridiculous equipment. So it really doesn't. There's like. No, I, I was under the impression that at least one of the components was better. I think the gloves were better. Mm hmm. And realistically, I, I just didn't recall ever seeing Geralt in red. I would have yeah. been cool just to see. Well, actually, there's a uh, there's a retexture that I keep forgetting to install that makes this armor kind of like a, a wine purple. Oh. And mm -hmm. it looks really nice. But purple. I keep forgetting. Show me. Ooh. Oh, you want to put that on Roach? I mean, it's not like we use Roach for much. But it'll make Roach look cool. See ya. Fashion Souls. Absolutely. At some point, I'll get Shell to play Fashion Souls with me, and it'll be fun. Hmm. How may I assist you? Wouldn't. Oh, weren't you gonna see the armor made? Uh, no, that's a quest. I have to go. I have to go to. Uh, what's it? Like, I have to go to Skellige to get the thing he wants. To fashion armor. Uh, yeah, he needs like a design or a resource or something. That doesn't sell much at all. All right. Let's see if we've got anything fancy. He does. Yeah, you can make better boots. Well, there's the superior ursine boots, but we don't know how to make normal ursine boots. Mm, mm hmm Which is the issue. Ooh. Let's see. We could try making the feline set. Oh. Um, but... Maybe we could skip away from being Griffin for a little while and go full-on swordsperson, at least for a little bit. Maybe not. A lot of these seem to be downgrades, though. Yeah. Well, let's see. Shidal armor would be an upgrade. Ursine armor, obviously. Let's see. So yeah, it really looks like Ursine is the upgrade, unless we want to do Feline for a bit. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. That looks like it has quite the cod piece on it. Actually, the majority of them do. <laughs> Do, let's do feline for a bit. Let's let's be someone completely different. 
Let's see, is that everything? No. I don't think we made the feline gloves. Does it get a set bonus at all, or...? Because why are you making all of them? You get a set bonus eventually. Mm -hmm. So long. Let's see. Inventory. Wait, he doesn't wear anything on his biceps? Hmm. Easy breezy Geralt of Rivi River. River. <laughs> Rivia. <laughs> Rivia. Uh, let's see. Oof. Level 29 to get some of these things. 25. Dang. I okay. still want to bear witness to that play. Boots. Yeah, we can go do that. I just want to double check this one again. What is this? Armor upgrade. Because I find it ri rather hilarious that you found proper bodyguards for Hattori. And we couldn't in oh. turn get them to help out with the... Hmm? The 29 one is actually the Grandmaster mm. recipe. I think. Okay. We also have that quest there. We'll leave that for a bit. Or wait, door slamming shut. No, that's not it. The play is the thing. Okay, that should be the right quest. Right, because we need to find the ushers for protection. And then people to advertise it? Yeah. The other one thing I wanted to check real quick. Welcome. What have you got there? That herbalist looks exactly like the brother in law to Sucharis. Yeah, he really does. Mm hmm. Oh, we can make a decoction? Wyvern decoction. Increases attack power until the fight ends or damage is taken. Hmm. Huh. So much like the sound of that. Because it's, it's not really super useful for what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Not because if damage is taken, then you lose the benefit of it. So long. That was a weird scar that it had focused on for a bit. Yeah. Almost star-shaped. Like something had pierced or punctured. Arrow? Could it's... be. It's on his right one. Yeah, right there. You see it? Yeah, he probably got hit by an arrow. You'd think scars would have healed over for him. Eventually. It really depends on how Witcher's scar tissue works. Oh boy. Okay. What? I think we I think we might want to re uh change a thing or two around. Uh let's see. Inventory. Seeing as I'm going to be uh a bit odd. More of an hour. Or no, that's that's the wrong thing. What are you doing? I thought Wolf and I were was supposed to reset your, uh, reset you. Guess not. Um, I wanted to respec Geralt. I'll have to figure out how to do it. I do so much damage in melee. Uh, I was kind of wondering what would happen if I actually specced into it instead. Oh, remember the random house we walked into after getting fake mugged? Mm -hmm. And there are these people in here? Yep, everyone playing their instruments and such. Yep. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. 
Another thug? Flattered, thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course! But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. But my sword is... I'm still so surprised that a glass door like that would survive. Go ahead. You just imagine someone shutting it too forcefully? Yep. Not enough, he's a heretic, he's also a lot. So you're the ones. Oi, oh, Fatso, look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted Iraq Emelfart, called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> uh, the hilarious thing is, they're the ones being paid by Hemelfart. Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. How do you like one shot? Oh. Well, they scare fast. Ah, oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Yeah, they're kind of fun people. I like them. Mm-hmm. Terrible times. Pig. Ah, the pigs are floating above the ground. Dead men. I think I did that. All I had. The the dead men or the pigs floating? <laughs> the did, dead men. Elvin also, I'm glad you didn't run to that lady. It looked like she was coddling a baby. I don't think there are babies in this game. What was she holding? Go back and see. Uh, she's despawned at this point. Nah, she'll be, she'll be back there. Hmm... Uh. Wait, do people really just disappear with and never come back? Ooh, no, no, no. She was definitely back that way. No, 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 no. Oh, I came through here. Help a poor fellow out. No, 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 no. no. She was by the gardens. You mean in this area? So you would run through here. Over to the left. And you oh, ran by right the gardens. Yeah, to the right. Now you. And there was this yeah. woman and she was holding a baby. There. Look, see? 
There is a baby. Uh. <laughs> Wonderful. So I guess there are babies in this game, but boy, I don't actually like looking at them. To be fair, I don't really like looking at babies in general. Like, I, a number of people that I followed years ago for Let's Play related stuff are start, finally starting to have kids, and... A lot of baby pictures. I, I know one of them, she, she'd stopped streaming and YouTubing a while ago and I had to unfollow her. Because, yeah, uh, she was more or less dead silent for a while, then had a baby, and is just like, I'm just gonna dump baby pictures all over social media forever. And I think I'd even been talking about how, like, her life straight up hadn't mattered until she had a baby, and, like, you know, nothing, nothing else is as in interesting as this child, and it's just like, I get it, like, kids are important, very important. Oh. But it's always a little sad when I see somebody that I thought was, like, quite interesting beforehand be like, the only thing interesting about me now is my children. And I'm like, oh. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I also just don't like seeing, like, babies in diapers. You know, very clearly. Oh, yeah, and that's not the kind of stuff that you should be showing the public. Yeah. It would be understandable if it was, say, a platform like Facebook, where it's just your yeah. your inner friend group can see. But on something like Twitter or Instagram, where unless you have an, a private account, anything is just out there for people to see. Um, Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage! You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from Plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdara! Brothers forged in bloodshed, veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas! Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. <laughs> How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. Mm. See, Hal's no fan of mummies. Failed romance. Spare you the details. You'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on, same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metina. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Ow! Oh, finish him! Got something special like that. Alright. Two on one. So we have Sophus the Bull and who's the other guy? Al. Al, yes, you're right. I just didn't know if he had a title afterwards. Watch out. That guy was gonna come and swing at your back. That's it. What? Lost your nerve? <gasps> Watch out! Hey, she haven't lost any HP yet. Yeah, so uh, you can parry omnidirectionally. It doesn't really matter. Didn't take a hit. Well, well. I know often you get such a lovely thrash in I am. Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug. Bugger likes. Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. 
for free, eh, Al? Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Well then. Uh, let's see. I haven't looked at these in a while. Those guys didn't look like they were brothers. But they said that they were raised by wild dogs out in the, s the southern deserts or something. Yeah. I don't know about that bit. Not like they're Romulus and Remus. Let's see. Those are bomb related stuff. Also, haven't they found the occasional child that's been raised by wolves or dogs? I... And they... I mean, obviously they haven't learned language. At least not in the human sense. And it's been very difficult for them to, to acclimate. I actually do not know. There's been at least one instance that I read about. I should go back and see where it was precisely in the world. What if there's more interesting mutagens than what I've got? Ooh. It'd be interesting to look into more instances of animals raising an animal from an entirely different species. And maybe even beyond species so much as order. Because it's, it's more likely that you see birds raising other birds or mammals raising various types of mammals. I mean... I know I heard recent, recently with the Australian fires, it was uh, wombats. We're letting other animals into their holes. Yeah. yeah they, they were actually, like, herding them in. Which, not exactly raising them, but I thought that was a really oh, cute detail. Let's see. I think... I think we're done with the uh, the quest, so it's playtime. Ooh, yes. I want to see this play. Uh, granted, oh, I did prefer the naked. the plot of the first play as opposed to the play that she suggested second. Yeah. Which was essentially just... Yeah, but we had no easy way to go back. Mm-hmm. Because now we're going to see a retelling of the whole Dooney situation. Yeah. Dooney and the princess. Series parents. Hello. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen. But I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. <laughs> It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Hmm. Thanks. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? 
Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Uh... Do you want to have Priscilla play her? Yeah, probably. She I, wrote I feel... it. <laughs> yeah. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. Aww. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. Oh, that's so sad. So who do you Aww. see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Oof, so people everyone love? Um, uh, someone that everybody loves, but I might not even show up. I bet if we go with Maxim, Dudu shows up and does it. Ah, that might be interesting. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. <laughs> I hope we're not going to have a terrible performance, given the fact that you are playing yourself. Eh? And... All right. Got the cast <laughs> figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Oh, I was hoping we'd have to memorize some lines. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pessy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. I kind of wish Zoltan just hung out with us more. Ladies and gentlemen, Still feel most really bad honorable about citizens of the hallowed her. city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or The Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Oh, a kitty is watching. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. Mm. Interesting. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. <laughs> He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, 
My child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least, ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. Well, I'm terrible. <laughs> My dear, did we have a script? Have Here, I'm gonna hand you this. Our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins, heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife. That's my plea. Oh. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just. A true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. It's Toss the traitor <laughs> scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. It's Dudu who lost the eye. Mm -hmm. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Wait, wasn't that Fatso? Yep. I thought we kicked their butts earlier. We did. Oh, look. Fat's watching again. Recognized me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No, 
Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me, entreated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt. When did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange, both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news, too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Manga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Not bad. Not bad at all, for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. 
I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Uh-oh. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. How about Priscilla? Does she see anything about performing? Seems a little uncomfortable. Geralt! Oh, Take really? Yep. Guess so. Priscilla wasn't actually that good an actress. No. You could have definitely had the way, more experienced lady play. And maybe the safer guy. Yeah. Rather than the drunkard. <laughs> Okay. Well, we should probably... I'm going to warp over here, but then I'll stop. I'm surprised they, that... Was it Idria? I'm surprised that she didn't play the queen. Wait. Yeah. This is the cat... The cat town? Uh, cat something in. It's the seven cats in. There we go. Ugh. But I am, You're I am tired. bushed, and my All voice right. is bad. Yeah, so this will be a stopping point. But I mean, well, at least we we're able to see the play. It was a little lackluster. Why were they reading their, their yeah? Lines I was kind of hoping. So I, I kind of hate for, it when games wasn't do this. A comedy either. It didn't seem like much of a comedy to me. No. You probably uh, would have had more slapstick, or people would have been, you know. <sighs> yeah. There was something to the way that they. They said the lines that I was kind of hoping they would just at, not have me pick the lines and just have it be something ridiculous. Like I'd, I'd much prefer to sit back and just watch the, uh, you know, watch some crazy end results that they'd cook together instead. Because a number of other games kind of do this, and I just much prefer to be able to just watch something goofy instead of having to be a participant. Because it always ends up being more wooden. It's like no, 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 make it, make it ridiculous. Oh well. It didn't help that they were talking in prose as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm falling asleep on my feet, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs>